Hi, I'm Michael Martin. I work at the Advanced Light Source here at Lawrence Berkeley Labs doing infrared science. We usually use a Fourier transform infrared spectrometer, so that's an FTIR spectrometer. So I thought I'd show you how one of these works. If you uh, look here, the basics of the spectrometer is really fairly simple. There's an infrared source, or in our case, we usually will put a synchrotron in on the side, but that's a, a, just a, a fancy light source that has much higher brightness. But you can see here we have an infrared source um, that then is collimated and goes into what we call an interferometer. This is where the light is split into two parts. There's a beam splitter. Part of the light goes one way, part of the light goes the other way. Then it gets recombined. The interference pattern of that is what we then measure. Anyway, this interfered light uh, will now come out. It will get focused by this mirror onto a sample. We'll have a sample uh, loaded here. And then uh, the light will then get refocused onto a detector. So now what we do is we just measure the, the amount of detected light as a function of the interference that we're putting on it by having one of these mirrors moving back and forth. It's called a Fourier transform spectrometer because you do a Fourier transform of this measurement, um, of this interference pattern, and that gives you the actual spectrum uh, that you're looking for of the sample.